Hey guys, Godzilla's Ghost Gaming here. Today we got we are going to be reviewing the SH Monster Arts Godzilla vs Kong Godzilla. Of course, starting off with the box. So the front it looks pretty nice, has a image of the figure Godzilla vs Kong SH Monster Arts. Uh, this the thing that lets you know it's the actual product. The top has a window to see the figure. Versus Kong SH Monster Arts again. Side SH Monster Arts Godzilla vs. Kong Monster Verse. Uh, this side, another picture of the figure Godzilla vs. Kong SH Monster Arts once again. And on the back, which is interesting, we've got the full window of the figure here. Interesting that they did the window from the back this time. Anyways, here's Few images of the picture of the figure in action poses. Sorry, uh, there's a bunch of Lego mumbo jumbo stuff. Bottoms the same thing. So let's just hop right into it. So before we get into the actual figure, we are going to go over the accessories, which are a pair of hands, which is kind of surprising for a Godzilla. We haven't really gotten any interchangeable hands with Godzilla's yet from SH Monster, which was interesting, but I guess they've started now. Nothing else, really, but they do look really nice, though. I think you guys can see them. They look really nice. If you can't tell, uh, I think the claws are maybe slightly painted. Not entirely sure on that just yet. I'll have to take a look at that. But anyways, yeah. So of course you can swap them out. Godzilla. In the box, he comes with his grabby hands. His grabby, ah, I'm gonna get you hands. You could just. Oh, actually, you know what? I'm not gonna risk it because I just got this today, so I'm not gonna risk it for now. What? Let's move on to Godzilla himself. For Godzilla himself, he does look really, really nice. This version is supposed to be like the poster version of him. So that's why he has like blue painted on him and if you can't tell, silvery blue eyes. Dorsal plates are also colored in that very shiny metallic blue all the way to the tip of the tail. Most of himself is just in a charcoal black, a bit of variation on the stomach. These claws seem to be painted. Toe claws are painted a little bit as well. Uh, mostly a very matte black figure, just like the uh, 2014 version of Godzilla from Legendary and... Uh, the 2019, or would it be considered 2020? Yeah, you know what, whatever. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it's the Godzilla King of the Monsters, Godzilla. I think with these dorsal plates, you can get some good light piping with them. Uh, hold on. Got a good position for you guys. And let's see. I have a trusty little flashlight here. Let's see. I'm gonna turn these off real quick for you guys. And then, this one. Alright, and then, let's see, can we get any light piping in there? Eh. Uh, can get a little bit. It isn't as good as, say, the 2014 Godzilla's 
this atomic spitfire version's uh white piping which looks a little bit like this it's a lot nicer all the way down the tail looks really really nice which kind of sucks that we didn't get that with this figure. Really does suck. But, eh, what you gonna do? It's for the better quality, I guess. So now we're gonna move into the articulation. I just want to tell you guys now that I just received this thing. So, I haven't had time to play with around with it. And its joints are kind of tight. So, if you guys get yours be as careful as possible with them and slowly work the joints so then they don't break or anything so i'm gonna start with the thing i've been able to move the best which is the mouth so mouth we've got opening you can get it a lot more open there like that that far open, then can of course close it right back up. But the jaws on a ball joint. Neck has quite a few ball joints. Head itself can move. Has a little thing here, allows for more posability with it. And then back bit here even more here but it's kind of tight right now on mine so i'm not exactly gonna risk anything with that right now with all the joints i've been able to get working for right now it can work it can look about that far down and then that far up not as far currently, but if you slowly mess around with your figure, it's probably tight like mine. It'll definitely get its joints working, that's for sure. But I'd suggest maybe slowly heating it up with a hair dryer first, just a little bit. So then you can actually pose it out of the box, if you want to, that is. Or you could just move them manually, just very slowly. Yeah, anyways, it's got ab crunch there. A little bit of side to side there. Can go up about that far. And then for the arms, a bow joint at the shoulder here. This, of course, on both sides. A double jointed elbow. Wrist can do this. There's also a small ball joint on the end of that for the hand. You can also rotate this joint here to make it, the hand go side to side, but I'm not going to do that because I'm not going to risk breaking this figure. Since, as I already mentioned, I got it very recently today so yeah and then for the legs which i've gotten working a little bit can spread about that far but just imagine it doing this on this side i guess this side just doesn't want to work just yet as much anyways and then Ball joint here, ball joint here, kick, about that far. If you've already had this figure for a while, I bet you can probably get it all the way around. And then, can go back, about that far, or as far as I'd like it to go at least. Actually, since, yeah, new and all, then... ball joint here and a ball joint at the foot itself then on to the tail 
I've actually had a little bit of an issue with this, uh, not popping off on anything. It's opposite. It's way too tight. Especially here, I can barely get it to move. Especially at the very base here, I can barely get it to move. But at this point, down here, it's been a lot easier. Same as here as well. Tip has been the easiest. In all, a very nice variety of posability on this, that's for sure. It's also a ball joint at the base of the tail, of course, but kind of blocked by this. I recommend, uh, when you get it out of the box, mine at least when I got out of the box, it sails like all messed up like this thing is coming off of this so I suggest slowly pushing that back into place like this and that'll fix whatever problem you're most likely having with the, the tail being annoying because mine the tail on mine at the base is a bit odd but other than that, it's the tail's been probably fine. Nothing's popped off or anything so far, which is really nice. I've had my Godzilla's, my 2014 Godzilla's tail pop off a few times now, which has been especially annoying. But what you gotta do? It's an older figure, anyways. Yeah. So overall, this figure is really, really nice. I suggest getting it now while you can before it runs out, because I pre-ordered this guy, and uh, it got here a month early. It was going to be shipped here to my house in like August, but I got it early, which is really nice, probably because I use Amazon, but anyways, uh, yeah, there aren't that many left up for pre-order so because mine's a pre-order it's about 109 bucks which is kind of pricey but not as pricey as any of the older figures that sh monster arts has now so i suggest picking up the sky while you can up for pre-order mainly because of the price and how surprisingly fast it got over to me, but you may live somewhere farther away than where I do, so it may take a bit longer. Yeah, I say this pretty figure is pretty nice, but now on to the final thing, which is size comparisons. So, this 2021 Godzilla is about a, uh, let's see. Six and a half inches, I'd say. Tall. Maybe stretching almost seven with those dorsal plates. And lengthwise, he is about, let's see. Here, here. I'd say he's maybe a foot long like this. On to the other size comparisons, which are the 2017 Papo Ceratosaurus, the Papo 2018 Iguanodon, the ori one of the original Jurassic Park Kenner Velociraptors, NECA's GMK Godzilla, the 2014 SH Monster Arts Spitfire version Godzilla. And the Mega Constructs Drogon. So, overall, I think this figure is really, really nice. Uh, as for the rating system I'm putting in place, out of the word Godzilla, I'm going to rate it a Godzilla. Its articulation is nice. Sometimes it can be a bit iffy 
I guess. The painting's nice, but could've used a slight bit more variety, maybe in the blues on the spines. Yeah, other than that, I think this is a really nice figure, and I definitely do recommend you picking this up, especially if this is your first SH Monster Rescue Godzilla. I definitely recommend it, that's for sure. But I, I have some other news involving this guy. This new Godzilla is going to re be replacing my older Godzilla in the stop motion that I'm making, which I'm very excited for because this is going to give me so many more possibilities with action poses and stuff like that and that. So, yeah. Stay around and maybe in a few months or so it'll be finished. I'm not too sure yet. I'm still trying to figure out the filming location for the stop motion itself. Also trying to still figure out if I want an exact storyline in it or not. There's a lot still going into it, but I can assure you it'll hopefully be released before this year ends. <laughs> At least, I hope. But anyways, if you're at the end of the video, thank you for sticking around. I really appreciate it. And uh, if you want to, you can go ahead and hit uh, press that subscribe button if you like my content. Uh, if you don't, you can always unsubscribe. I'd also appreciate if you were to like this video. Maybe comment something nice in the comment section. Of course, you can unlike the video if you want as well. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, bye bye